Yeah, she know I'm from DIGC, Kano Chikwe. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate God for what he has done for me. July uh, this year, uh, ending July, after the graduation of my son from school, I, we discovered his stomach was swollen and he was crying that he's having stomach ache, stomach pain and all that. So we rushed him to the hospital. They told him to go for scan and went for scan. And the scan told us that it's a kidney problem, that the kidney and the right hand is swollen. Praise the Lord. The kidney and the right hand is swollen. And I told the devil that devil you're a pastor. I have a father here in Dunamis. I left the hospital brutally to area one. I saw, when I was standing talking with my brother, I saw daddy's car pass. And I told my brother, I'm going to meet that. And I followed the car like the woman with the issue of blood. I followed daddy and at the time, I, I just met daddy and said, Daddy, this is the problem. And daddy said, That verdict is cancelled. <laughs> Hallelujah. The moment daddy said, That verdict is cancelled, I had peace came from heaven, peace, and dropped on my heart. You know, church, you know what it is when they say, Give me. Can I go to India? I can't go. So daddy cancelled it, and I took the time the next day to go back to the hospital. And the man, and the man said, Okay, that we should give you some signs to Okay, we'll obey. Already our daddy has cancelled it. And we went to Asokoro. Asokoro said, There is no bed. I go to Asokoro General Hospital. There is no bed. We should go to the National Hospital. I said, National Hospital. I was there last year. Oh, I can't go there oh, because their money there is too much. And I left. They said, We should go to Hussein. And I went to Hussein General Hospital. A doctor there tapped my husband and said, Oh, we can't treat this case. We just saw it now. We can't treat it. Take him to National Hospital. And we ran to National Hospital. Reaching there, they did everything. Time will not permit me. They did CT scan for him. CT scan, you will see everything inside the stomach of the child. I saw the right hand kidney. Be very mighty. And they said the right hand kidney is raptured. They said, Tell us that we should just be there with them and remove the right hand kidney. That the child will live with one kidney. No problem. People live with one. I said, I am coming from a place that I can. My son cannot live with one kidney. They said, What I want you with? And the doctors want you. I said, yes, I know what I'm talking about. Praise happen. the name of the Lord. And so, when they did the CT scan, they, 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 they fixed a pipe at his stomach to remove a pus. Very mighty pus came out of him. Hallelujah. And after they did another CT scan. When they did another CT scan, the doctors started telling me another story. That they are saying two kidney at the right hand. They don't understand what is going on. They are saying two kidney, one down, one up, and two urethra at the right hand kidney. I said, I don't understand, sir. They said, That's what they are saying in the CT scan now. They, are two, they don't know what they are saying also. And the prof, the prof, the organ pata pata of, the, of the doctors. So he was telling me, he said he did not believe that the urethra was two, and the kidney divided it until he took the child into the theater. That was when he saw that it was two. Praise the name of the Lord. A new kidney was created. A new kidney was created. A new urethra was created. A new kidney was created. A new urethra was created. Here is the boy. Head and healthy. After the doctor, the doctor, the doctor, Hello guys, sorry the video is late. Been got away in here. Uh, this particular miracle happened as far back as uh, we don't know the particular date yet, but uh, 2015 is our cap, you know, 2015. And uh, this particular miracle happened at Dunamis Church, Dunamis in Abuja. I don't know how uh, this at least associated with Dunamis Abuja. I don't know how, how big this particular particular church. I didn't know how big the, the church is until I actually went. Uh, recently, I only went up there recently, and I, I figured that everyone actually attends. Everyone, almost everyone actually attends uh, this church. You know, many people actually attend this church. So this particular miracle supposedly happened at National uh, uh, Hospital in Abuja, and I this woman actually said a child grew a you know, grew a third kidney. You know, miraculously developed or grew a third kidney after being prayed for by. Uh, Pastor and Nietzsche, you know, it's kind of crazy to anyone hearing it, at least to me, that this particular a, a child will actually grow a talk, talk in me, you know, you can be born with many things, but actually giving uh, miraculously actually grew a talk kidney, that's totally impossible to me. So, I, oh, I was commissioned to actually do this story and I went there. Uh, to actually say, then I go there and I, I actually went to the church and uh, many names came up, many names came up. I mean, many names, the CMD and all mentioned online. But what actually particularly came up to us was a, a, a person who claimed to know the family and posted pictures of the family outside the uh, outside of what we already have. He posted pictures of the family outside of what we already have, uh, what we already had, and uh, and uh, he claimed that it was Doctor Ame and it it was Doctor Ame in uh, in National Hospital of Abuja that actually did the surgery. Dr. Ame actually sounded to me like a phantom. Dr. Ame, it sounds like uh, uh, the Bible mentioning Pharaoh in the book of Exodus and not the particular Pharaoh, you know? So it sounded like a phantom to me, but I went there. I went to the hospital. Uh, it, it didn't even start like that. I looked up Dr. Ame, uh, the details of the family members. None of them actually have a, a detail outside of uh, outside of their private life. I mean, none of them have, have, have the family, none of them have a, a social media presence. So I looked up the detail of Dr. Ame on LinkedIn, you know, and I, I figured out there is a Dr. Ame, Dr. Emmanuel Ame. In, I went to the hospital and uh, it, is, it is true. Dr. Ame, like, you know, a commenter actually said, Dr. Ame is actually a no nonsense person. And I went there looking for an official story, uh, an official comment from the hospital. And uh, it, was, it wasn't very difficult to actually get an official comment. I got there 
and uh, I had to fill the form to actually uh, meet him, meet the man. And I filled the form. My meeting was approved, and uh, uh, they called him. And the man wasn't particularly at the hospital at that time. They called him and they told him why I was there, and he sent someone down to me to actually give me his official comment on the story. And it is signed by the, approved by the hospital itself, that this story is false, and they've never, he, Doctor Ahmed, has never encountered any condition of a guy actually miraculously growing a third kidney not as far back as 2015 not ever so the woman was lying that is the official comment of the hospital and i'll put the 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 note on, on, on board you know on on the screen official comment of the hospital they've never come across that case you know so the, the way it appears to me is that one is that the way this happened it appears to me is that two options you know is either the woman is lying honestly it is possible i've seen many cases like that that people will go to uh, to the church and actually claim that something miraculous happened to them when in reality it didn't you know just to feel like they are worthy or they are they are uh, they are important to god and they feel you know they go to church for they say things for many reasons or that dr nature and uh, pastor nature you know and the, and the girl and the woman they are voting on it Th those are the two options here the woman could have gone to the hospital to actually lie about her uh a, a, a child's condition or Dr. Pastor Nietzsche and the woman are, are voting on it. It is, uh, I mean, even religious, you shouldn't totally trust testimony. You shouldn't even trust at all. I mean, be skeptical of any kind of testimony you come across. The official comment of the, sto of the, of the story is that, from the hospital, is that none of it happened. 